jurors could hear from Dr. Conrad Murray as soon as today. Prosecutors are expected to play audio from an interview police had with Michael Jackson's personal physician two days after the singer's death. Jackson died from an overdose of the anesthetic propofol. Pharmacist Tim Lopez says he shipped 255 vials of the powerful drug to Murray. Did Conrad Murray ever disclose to you that he was Michael Jackson's physician? No. Lopez said Murray claimed the drugs were for his Los Angeles clinic, but there was no clinic in L.A. And Murray actually had the propofol sent to the apartment of his girlfriend, Nicole Alvarez. She testified that Murray called her from the ambulance on the day of Jackson's death. I remember him telling me I, um, that he was on the way to the hospital in the ambulance with Mr. Jackson and for me not to be alarmed. Prosecutors are trying to prove that Murray's negligence led to the pop star's death. But the defense claims Jackson gave himself the fatal dose of propofol. Yes. Shade Anding, who also dated Maury, told jurors okay. she was on the phone with the doctor about a half hour before paramedics were called to Jackson's mansion. I pressed the phone against my ear and I heard um, mumbling of voices. It sounded like the phone was maybe in his pocket or something. I hung up the phone and I tried calling back and there was no answer. Prosecutors say that is when Murray likely realized his patient was no longer breathing. Kendis Gibson, CBS News, Los Angeles.